What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W. And today we're going to go over a day trading recap as well as the review in the chat room I'm in. Check it out. All right guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump right on into this video here. And uh, today I got one live trade for you, okay? Uh, then I have a quick little review there on uh, the futures charts, I was, you know, eyeing it, seeing if I could find somewhere to, you know, grab a contract and uh, make some money. And uh, I've kind of missed two opportunities here today. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. I'd rather miss opportunities than, uh, than get in at the wrong time. You know, this is where I show discipline um, and I don't chase, you know, a downward or an upward movement. And uh, I didn't get to actually capture the, the the area I wanted, therefore, I don't click anything. It's that simple. That's how I conserve my profits. That's how I conserve my mental capital and uh, how I continue practicing discipline. Discipline is the only way to stay alive in this game, especially when you're a newer trader. So uh, exercise disciplined there and on my other trade today. So the first trade today for me was BA. Now, BA, uh, I, I'm in BA like in my long-term swing from 105 and we're at 120 i'm not taking any profit there and as a matter of fact i think we'll pull it back in at some point uh over the next week or two and uh hopefully i can keep adding i, I want to keep adding to my ba position because you know i have a five-year outlook on this 10-year outlook on this uh minimum minimum five to ten a year right if this takes 15 years i don't care because it's it's a long-term swing trade so i'm not considering a long-term investment like i i do for my retirement uh accounts um, but I'm, uh, it's in my long-term swing trade account where I'm just buying quality companies for a long-term hold and, you know, take some profit later on. Uh, but right now, you know, I'm in there from 104, actually 104 and change. So we're popping off at 120. So, you know, you see that green there, but nope, I'm not taking profit because why would I take peanuts when I know I'm going to make potentially thousands upon thousands of dollars with this uh, in a few years uh, if we make it back up there to the three, four hundred dollar area and maybe even beyond. So... In the meanwhile, I'm actually hoping for another dip so I can keep adding. Uh, but I did trade BA today, and that's what I traded. I traded on options, and uh, I traded it here on this v VWAP projection. And we had this VWAP projection, and, and, and the market started pulling in. SPY started pulling in a little bit. And I thought, you know, at the very least, we would get down here to test this 120 area. Uh, but we started to bounce off of this 121 area. And uh, at the same time, the market was... Um, making you know like pushing downward it was pulling in and as the market was pulling in itself ba was actually bouncing and kind of like curving like setting a setting a, a curve on the bottom uh there the chart and i i took that as like relative strength within the the stock itself you know it was bouncing while the overall market would actually was actually drifting a little bit lower and i was like you know what i'm going to cut this right here because if the market starts to bounce this thing is going to get up over rewap and it's just going to go uh, potentially so I cut it loose and uh, here let me get that let me get this trade recording for you Wait, where is it here we go <coughs> excuse me okay so here we go I am in one just one contract one contract cost base is 1002 on it and uh, as you see you know, we're drifting lower, we're drifting lower, VWAP rejection, and I'm thinking, okay, you know, if we can get down here, you know, it'll pop off at 11 and change, 12 bucks, you know, make 100, maybe 200 bucks on this contract, you know, nice little quick trade. So right here, we start to bounce a little bit, and I'm a little concerned, not ultra concerned, because you could, as you can see, the expiration date on these contracts is 327 today's 324 strike 120 so they're not going to move around as the same as an ultra you know volatile same day expiration contract so i'm not super worried about it at all uh but i'm watching it when we start to drift again i'm like okay well you know let's let's get that big dump bar and let's get us down here to 120 see if we can break underneath that that was the plan But you see right there, I think I bring down the spy chart. Let's keep let's keep moving this forward here a little bit. I think I bring down the the pie the spy chart so you could see uh, 
the relative strength as the spy was actually drifting lower and this was curving. Hey guys, as we do that, why don't you curve your mouse button or your finger on your mo on your on your phone and tap that like button for me there real quick. Just tap it or smash it, whatever you want to do. Uh, just don't break your phone screen. See right there, we start to come back down a little bit, testing that in front of that lower day. There we go. When we got that action there, I was like, okay, well, you know what? We might we might get this to work out. You know, we're making lower lower highs, lower lows. Okay, the volume isn't showing here because uh my screen was too down i already fixed that so follow-up videos you'll see the volume bars i'm thinking this is where i show you the the spy chart but i could be wrong see i cut it right there oh there it is there's the spy chart there it is see as we started to we were going lower on the spy and this was starting to kind of curve and we started to actually go green on this bar right there. And that's where I cut it, right? Watch. The very next uh, action here. We'll fast forward it a little bit. Look at that. Right to VWAP. Right to VWAP. Look at that. Right through VWAP. So, you know... Look, as you can see, 940, I was in a 1002. So my risk was very minimal. My risk was very minimal. Uh, and the and the upside potential was there, you know, for a couple hundred bucks. So it was a very safe and slow, uh, low risk, stress-free type trade, right? Because I was risking, uh, you know, what, 40 bucks or something like that. Uh, and, and I actually made like 20 bucks on that trade uh, when I exited. Because I exited at, I think it was at 10, 20 something at ten dollars and twenty something cents so it was very very low risk very low risk and that's what i wanted to do today a very low risk trade and that was it right there uh and as you can see we broke over vwap right afterwards and we held it for a minute before bang and this was the move i was looking for to happen here on this vwap rejection uh and it would have been awesome it would have been a real nice trade but hey it is what it is uh as far as that trade is concerned now let's Get this out of the way. Then after that trade, I switched over here to my... my. Uh, I, this is a trade from last night. Just one MES contract. Uh, I lost like, what, two bucks? Um, I was actually looking to trade ES this morning. And we went ahead. I did some, some paper trading here on ES last night. So, and wait, you can tell it's paper trading because it says sim. See, live account says Jesse, and this says simulator. So that's the difference between a paper trade account and a live account. So last night I did a little bit of paper trading uh, just because I like to practice. And then I did a, a, an actual live trade with an MES. So this morning I was actually looking to um, see if I can get an ES trade on here, you know, on the E-minis. And... I kind of missed this move here. It wasn't the cleanest move in the world, but this, you know, 2345 area was like a previous support area here, 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 and here. And then finally here, we, you know, we tested it one more time right in front of it, 2348, and bounced right off of it and went on to make new highs. And it's funny because in chat, I uh, talked to a buddy there that he trades futures a lot as well. And I told him about it and he was like, yeah, you know, I, I see what you saw there. And we had a real nice move there. Real nice move. Like, that's a monster move. If I would have been able to have captured, you know, uh, at least just one contract here, this would have been an easy, easy $500 trade, taking profits early. So that would have been a nice trade here. And then we kind of double topped here on the daily. Let me show you that one. While I was getting ready to film this. See right here, this 20, right in front of this 2389 area, right here, these two tops, which is yesterday's high and today's high uh, on the ES. We kind of hit that area right there and started taking it back. See, we tapped it, tapped it, and bang. We had a nice little pullback there. Uh, could have been a low risk entry for a short with a very, very tight stop, uh, but I didn't take that. I wasn't even, I don't even think I had the broker open anymore at that point. Uh, but that's it for me today as far as the trades go. Just that one trade, you know, I made like 20 bucks. I mean, it's, just, it's like, it's just been a little grind lately, you know, a small loss, small win, small loss, small win. 
very very choppy action uh even in small cap sections uh here's small cap sector check this out uh what was the small imac look at this like how are you gonna trade this halt 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 i believe that's another halt 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 like come on how are we supposed to trade this this new halt rules on small caps is ridiculous um so that was it for me as far as the trading goes now on to the actual uh you know what let's exit let me exit this so on now to the actual uh recap video of uh not the recap video, like the review video of the chat room I'm in. The chat room I'm in is a true trading group and two true trading groups, sorry about that, is a really good chat room. I've been there for two years now and there, I've been there for two years. I think the chat room's been open for two and a half years, maybe maybe three, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure 100% there, but I'm a very, very early member in that, in that, in that chat, in that group. And uh, it's led by uh, Mike Edwards. He's the, the lead trader there. And uh, he traded at a hedge fund. You know, he's been trading for 15 years. Uh, he he had to take you know curriculums courses before the you know they allowed him to trade actual live money, of course. And um, what he's done, right? Because the chat room has courses that 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 you have access to while you're in the chat room. Like if you're a member, you have access to all the courses. He's taken those uh, that curriculum, those courses that he had to go through, uh, you know, before trading live in the hedge fund and he's basically made it so that it's an easy to follow and easy to learn from course and there's multiple courses multiple levels within there that you know we have access to and the courses are really good there's the stock trading course there's an options course there's a psychology course uh and they're all really good um i'm not gonna tell you i've gone through all of them just yet because i haven't um i haven't gone through the entire options course yet but what i've gone through within these courses uh, and they actually have tests at the end of each course that, you know, you got to like score X amount before you can actually pass. Um, it's really good. It's really good. There's really, really good information there. It's very organized, um, very, very detailed. Now, look, guys, just like everything else, can you find this out there online for free? Absolutely. I'm 100% sure you can. But it takes time, you know, and, it, and then you got to organize it. And while some people have the time and desire to do it that way, others don't. So I never knock anybody for wanting to pay for an education. Uh, I know that I've learned a lot on my own throughout the years, and I've learned a lot here within this chat room. I it's honestly have. I've learned a lot there. I've learned a lot on my own, you know, and, and I, I don't mind paying what I've paid uh, in order to actually uh, curve that that time frame of learning, you know, because if I have to research everything individually, find it, sift through tons of pages and videos, this is trash, this is good, this is trash, this is good, it, it'll take me that much longer to learn certain things. So therefore, I don't, I, I've never mind, you know, pain and being able to review stuff in an organized fashion. Um, so the chat room itself is really good. There's a lot of good traders in there. Um, they, they, the moderators, the ones I've interacted with are extremely helpful. Okay. They're extremely helpful. Um, uh, Mike, when he is going to enter a trade and put out an alert, he, um, always talks about it beforehand. So he'll tell you, these are the levels I'm watching. This is why I'm watching it. This is what I'm planning to do before he even sets out an alert, an official alert, right? Or, or whatever it's called, whenever he puts out what he did. Um, he'll go over it beforehand, which is great because it's what it's, it's a good way of learning, right? Because you're seeing, okay, it's not just an alert. Oh, I did this. No, it's this is what I'm going to do before I do it. And these are the reasons why. And that's how, you know, I've learned a lot through that, uh, more so than the courses, to be honest with you, um, just because I guess it's, you know, hands on type experience. Now, uh, the chat room itself is a, a smaller group. It's not a huge chat room with 500,000 people in it. So that's kind of good. Uh, they trade everything. I'm talking about everything. Small caps, large caps, mid caps, options. Um, there's a couple of mods that trade futures, uh, but mostly commodities. Um, I trade futures. I'm not a mod there. I'm just a member. Um, uh, what else? Crypto. Crypto's traded there. One of the mods, Alex, awesome, awesome, awesome crypto trader. Um, he really just, he, he does awesome. He does really good at crypto, uh, BTC, LTC, 
which is the dude the dude has the heartbeat of the crypto market uh overall very good experience i mean there's a reason i've been there for two years i've never done a video on them i've never even talked about the group itself in a video i've only shared when i've been asked but lately i've been asked a lot so i figured i just you know include it in a video here now what i've done is i've actually talked to them and i have some coupon codes here for you okay now through april 3rd uh, april sorry march 30th or march 31st end the month uh you can get 30 percent off the membership plus a free one-on-one -on -one with mike so if you want to like sit on the get on the phone and screen capture screen share you know with mike you can do that if you use the uh the 30 percent off coupon that i'm going to give you the coupon is j t t g 30 okay that'll give you 30 percent off your yearly membership plus the free one-on-one -on -one with Mike. And uh, I do have some other coupon codes for after this, but they're going to be for less. Okay, so you'll want to take advantage of that 30% off because it's for the whole year. And when you renew in a year, you're not going to renew at a new price. You're going to renew at your 30% off. Also, you're always going to have access to all the courses while you're a member plus any new course that comes out. It'll never be extra. You'll have access to that as well. I'm going to leave the link in the description section below and in the comment section below with the 30% off coupon code as well. Any questions you guys let me know. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button for me. Hit the notification bell. I do have another video coming out here very soon apart from my recap. And I hope to catch you on the next one.